welcome believers and educators of the divine living in the universe in which God has created. Do not be afraid to choose you. Do not be afraid to choose your well-being. Do not be afraid ever to choose your health over dying for somebody who will replace you within the next couple hours if you do pass. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I wanted to use what God has blessed me with to bless you. As you can see, I lost my voice. No, I don't got the the thing thing, the vid, the vid thing. No, I don't got that. I just got a little bronchial asthma because I smoke here and there. I got, I got tested, results came back negative, whatever. You know what I mean? But anyway, do not be afraid to choose you. You are for God. People sit back, they watch, they try to judge you and say, oh, you doing this, you doing that. Hey, God forgives for anything. And the same people that's judging you have done far worse than the things that you've done. So don't even seek to try to persecute them or, or talk bad about them. Give everybody a fighting chance. My family is strong, but we go through hard stuff too. Even when we suffer, when we hit rock bottom, that's when we become the strongest. In the mighty name of Jesus, God lives within you. You might be at a job and you might be sick. You know what I'm saying? They still want you to work, work, work. As soon as you pass out on that job, you you laying out on the floor. You unresponsive. You you don't know what's going on. You don't know, hey, okay, up, they dead, chalk it up, it's a loss. Da -da 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 -da. Next, we still need somebody to fill this, fill this position. That's the only thing that's gonna happen. So when nobody is there for you, use the tools that God gave you. If you can't read, if it's hard for you to read. Listen, listen, you know what I mean? There are times, yeah, where you might want to call, you know, HR, FMLA, and things of that nature. But sometimes when you just don't have time to even talk, you got to take care of your health because you feel like you're nearly dying. Hey, you have to do what you got to do to save your own life. And sometimes that means getting to a place of peace, a place of quietness, um, and relating and reaching out to any doctors or health professionals that may assist you. You might bust your ass at that job, done extra stuff. You know what I'm saying? But the moment you don't do what they want you to do, oh, throw them out. Yeah, never work for us again. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Because that means that God has a plan. And that plan, they cannot stop. Didn't Drake say it? God's plan? Drake wasn't trying to portray himself as God. The reason that Drake says he's the sixth God, because in the Bible it says we are gods. He's not saying he's the heavenly father, he's the most high God. I, I used to didn't like all the stuff that Drake said, but now it's starting to make sense, man. You know, it's not that I idolize him. I like a lot of different music. It's just something that I do, that I'm into, so I like to listen to other artists as well. There are some things I disagree with Drake or other artists, and I talk shit about them too. Just like they talk shit about me. It's just words. But at the end of the day, God bless you. And choose your health over wealth. Because without without, um, without your health, you cannot get wealth. So choose your health. My uncle rests in heaven right now. And I know it because he he's done things behind closed doors that nobody knows. He has a spiritual relationship with God that nobody knows. They try to judge him, oh, he a gangbanger, he do this or that. Man, he's a protector, a provider, and a hardworking man. In the mighty name of Jesus, I hope this word bless you. Choose your health over wealth because once you choose your health, it'll lead you to that wealth. God bless you.